Hey, how are you? It's Diane Banks, voice actress and radio personality in Chicago. Please take a second to subscribe. Check out all my other videos waiting for you, like this one, uh, Disney Aladdin, cool concept art you haven't seen. Um, you'll be looking for a thumbnail that looks just like this. And over on Twitter, Josh Powers said, thanks, I love seeing stuff like this. Thanks for your great comment. Uh, and also, my latest video here on YouTube, if you haven't seen it yet, Pirates of the Caribbean Redhead Change. What do the Imagineers think? You'll be looking for this thumbnail. And, da 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 longtime subscriber Clay Carmichael watched it and said, I think changing the ride's somewhat a bad idea, because I think if they change the auction scene, not being p politically correct, and they have to change the other rides that aren't politically correct. Great point. Interesting comment. So keep those comments coming, you guys. And as always, please subscribe. I've got some great scoops here from a former security guard over at Disneyland telling us what it's really like working at the park. Hmm. From uh, MSN and Pop Sugar. So let's hop to it. How does Disney balance the need to maintain a magical experience in challenging situations? This security guy says, I get a lot of people that never see security and that's one of the goals. Unless it's a safety issue, never more than two security escorts uh, taking drunk people out. We use undercovers to catch shoplifters, bring them backstage before they're accused um, and getting searched and that sort of thing. So that makes sense. They want to kind of keep things out of sight from people and I just thought I would put up instead of a real drunk person a guy who's legally drunk at Disney <laughs> the pirate is allowed to be drunk at Disney right uh, but anyway he says even when we talk to people who are drunk um, it's as few of us as possible we want to make it unembarrassing low-key and we want to make sure we're not messing up your experience while you're there. So the question is, so the drunk people and potential thieves just walk off calmly? He says they're brought backstage. If they have merchandise on them, they're arrested. We have a police substation on property that we never see. Drunks are escorted off property. Here's the good news. If they're drunk, they don't let them go to their car. They have to walk it off for two to four hours and come back. And then they can either go back to the park or get their car. That sounds reasonable. <laughs> Okay, now who breaks the most rules, guests or employees? This one I thought was really interesting. Pass holders break the most rules. They seem to think that the pass is a golden ticket. Club 33 members too. Wouldn't you think pass holders would be on their best behavior because they're there all the time? Not according to the security guy. He says they break the most rules. So I thought that was a hoot and pretty interesting. Uh, then they asked, I read an article at some point about on Tinder or Grindr that there's hookups at Disneyland. Is this an actual issue you've run into? And he said, people have sex there all the time, all the time on the rides and the parking structure. When they get caught, they're escorted out unless they're underage, and then we legally have to call their parents. That one's fun. <laughs> and I'm not in any way indicating that this couple had sex at the park. I'm just showing you a little, a little visual here as we talk. Uh, but anyway, there's there's more uh, explicit information here about what goes on in terms of sex at the park. But I try to keep this a nice family channel, so I'm going to give you a link so you can go read that on your own later. Very interesting. Uh, any issues with famous people, but things ignored because they're they're famous uh, and they're celebrities. They said, well, if they pay enough, they can get to run the place themselves. Once it was closed, Kim and Kanye bought out the barbecue place, so nobody was allowed on that side of the park. Oh, and we had a prince get the park to himself for three hours for photos once. So here we see Kim and Kanye on one of the rides. This is obviously a day that they didn't close other people off. But I don't know, is that her sister? I'm not sure who that is. But I think they were celebrating the little one's birthday. But So that makes sense. If you have a lot of money, they'll, they'll hook you up and take good care of you. Uh, I know Orange County residents who think Disneyland runs Anaheim. How much power do you feel Disney has over the city? The security guy says, massive pull. Disney owns Anaheim. They get stuff passed when it benefits them. They get huge tax breaks. I believe they can do anything because of the revenue they bring in. Well, maybe that one's not such a shock, uh, for better or worse. Weirdest thing somebody lost, most valuable. People lose pipes. Yes, crack and weed pipes included. Had somebody say they had a $500 camera disappear. Um, and then here he says... You know, uh, when you're going on rides with the kids, obviously don't leave anything in a stroller. If you leave a $500 camera, 
uh, on a stroller, you're asking for it. Don't leave anything in a bag. Uh, I can't say the word. I'll just say crappy people exist everywhere. Um, and, you know, I'm sure Kim and Kanye did not have a camera on them that was expensive. <laughs> but then again, if they have the park closed off, it doesn't matter. Nobody's going to steal. There's nobody there. Uh, what's your absolute favorite memory from working there? I got a call for a little lost boy. We had the kid, no parents. When I get there, I meet this seven-year-old who grabs my hand and starts dragging me uh, to find his mom. Absolutely adorable. If we find mom less than five minutes, she's in tears. He told me they were in line for Small World when he vanished. I walk up, put him in front of the line together. He says they're sweet and thankful, and it's the kind of stuff I love getting to do. Now, I'm not saying this kid was lost or anything. I just thought this was cute. And if you were a little kid and you got lost, wouldn't it be nice if Peter Pan found you and helped you find your mom, right? Uh, does Disney pay an unusually high amount for competent security staff. This is funny. The security guy goes, yeah, that's cute. Most securities, former law enforcement or kids, they don't pay well, which is why I quit. I love the work, but the pay is crap. <laughs> and finally, what do you think makes Disneyland magical? It's the things we do for people. He said, Disney really is an escape from reality. It makes dreams come true for some. I used to do little things like picking families to move to the front of the line, finding a couple that just got married and giving them VIP seats for fireworks or world of color. Making, making people feel special is what makes it ma magical. So even this security guard who sounds a bit jaded from his experiences really got into the Disney magic and if it wasn't for the poor pay he'd probably still be there so wasn't this pretty cool lots of good dish there uh, former Disneyland security employee what's it like working at the park well now we know some good behind the scenes dish would love to hear your comments on all of that don't forget to please subscribe it's Diane Banks thanks as always for watching and we'll talk again soon